Let's start with Shrek. This is what you'll make. And this is how we do it. So we start off with Shrek, drag him into Photo, photo P. I'm going to zoom in to his face because this is the part we're going to be working in. Then I'm going to drag in my face. Could be any face. And I'm going to use the right click and use the quick selection tool. Then I'm going to click on the forehead and then I'm going to take away, because I don't want any of this bottom part, I'm going to take away, click on the take away, take away the shirt. If it doesn't get the hair, again, I'm going to go back to plus and click on the hair. And that should be good. Then I'm going to click on refine edge. Just zoom in using the scroll wheel. That level looks good, nice and soft around the edges. Click OK. Click the selection tool. Now I'm going to move it into place. I'm going to hit free transform or alt control T. And I'm going to make it smaller holding shift to not uh, ruin the proportions. And I'm going to rotate it at the same time because the head is slightly on an angle. Might make it just a little bit fatter just to fit and a little bit smaller. About there looks good. Now I'm going to hit enter and actually I want that ear to be on the top so what we'll do is we'll go back to make sure we select the background. Now I'm just going to get the lasso tool if it isn't selected right click on the rectangle tool if it's selected as a rectangle and select the lasso tool. I'm just going to draw just carefully around the bottom and then the top doesn't matter and I'm going to cut it. Cut and I'm going to paste and now I'll have this layer 1 will be my ear. I'm going to put the, my face back on and this time I'm going to move that layer ear above my head layer and then it's going to look like it's coming out of my actual head, the side of my head. So I'll just level it out so it looks similar. I know I've got two ears here, but whatever. Uh, next thing we've got to do is match some colors. I'm going to click back on my face, and I'm going to click Image Adjustments and Hue and Saturation or Control U. From here, it is never the same values, but so it's very subjective, but we're going to try and uh, get some green into the face and then add some saturation or some red. And that looks about good. And if we can just fine tune it here with the, with the top one, I'm trying to match the neck and sort of the hand. If it's a little bit light, we'll just darken it down a little bit and just get it where you think, where your eyes look, where it looks like it's sort of matching. It looks good enough for me. There's a bit of... Um, pixels around the neck here, so that's the last thing I'll fix. I'll right click here and click on the eraser tool. I will make the eraser edge soft and the size of it, yeah, about halfway to a quarter of that size. And I will start, maybe I'll just take the hardness up just a little bit and take that size down and just go around this edge part just to get rid of that hardness around the cheek here and around the neck, just so the neck of Shrek comes through. And that's about it. Zoom out, fit the area. Still just a little bit here that I might want to get rid of, so I'll get the eraser tool again and just try and fix that up. Make it a little bit smaller this time. Just fix up that little white bit. Zoom back out, that's a bit better. Once I'm finished, I can save it as a PSD if I want to save the layers, but also if I'm um, wanting to share this, then I will export as a JPEG or a PNG if I want to retain this transparency around this these checkered uh, this checkered background area that's actually transparency, I would save it as a PNG. So I'll save it as a PNG, leave the quality at 100, click save, and there's my finished Shrek.